What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Hit the like button. Let's jump right into it. It looked like some strong came across Lil J account on social media. It said racist officers in Kankakee County, Jerome Combs Detention Center, refusing Lil J medical service treatments after having surgery, then falling on the wet floor. We found out the officer that set him up to be attacked as Officer Burner. They upset because he wrote a grievance and is suing them. I need everybody to share this. So it looked like it's more light being shed into Lil J hurting himself and hurting his legs and shit like that. I guess they claiming Lil J was backdoored and set up by an officer, I guess, that work inside uh, the, the detention center wherever Lil J locked up. I guess he in a federal detention center in Kankakee. That's actually where a couple of the old block members are at. You know, those are the guys that's being charged with the murder of Lil J close friend, FBG Duck. So... I'm not sure exactly what's going on in there, but it looked like Lil J got a lawsuit coming up. It looked like his people is speaking out. It looked like they saying, you know, he was set up to be attacked by gang members and shit like that. So this is getting real deep. Uh, it looked like Lil J did need surgery. So it looked like he must have really did hurt himself, you know. It was things came out in paperwork about Lil J jumping off an elevator or something like that. We found out it was with like a guy named 600's Trigger and more, but... We going to keep you updated on this, man. Um, but it looks like, you know, they doing some crazy shit to Lil J and they family not playing. They speaking out.